CTW Automation here, and we wanted to share some uh, tips on how to set up your computer, specifically a laptop. I don't know, uh, we used to have a lot of people that sometimes would leave their software on, they'd go to lunch and come back, and all of a sudden their dyno didn't work. We're going to show you why that's happening and how to correct it so that it doesn't happen in the future. So the first thing you're going to want to do is basically you're on your desktop and you go down to the bottom left hand corner a little Windows start area there and this is all for Windows 10 and you click on this little icon documents and that's basically uh, the old file file folder there file and if you right click on this PC and you select properties this takes you to the area that we need to get you to. Now if you're on Windows 7, really the only thing you need to get to is this device manager right here. So once you're here, go ahead and click on device manager and you see a very large populated list of a lot of different things that are actually all internal in your computer. Uh, one of the first things we see is this ports. Just so you have some information, you see the USB to serial port, COM3. This is how we talk to your motor. There is a point in setting up the software that we may need to know this, and this is where it comes from. If there is nothing here, then that's gonna be a problem in the future trying to talk to the dyno, basically talk to the motor. But where we need you to go is down here, universal serial bus controllers, and we need to hit the little arrow there so it expands it. Now basically, all of these devices are in the computer somewhere and at times basically the way it's set up they can be turned off to save power and the problem is when the computer turns them off to save power your dyno stops working we use these ports to read data and move the motor they're very important so the way to make sure this doesn't happen again is to come in here and basically you start at the top and you right click and you choose properties you come in here and you'll see a little different tabs and we always want to find this power management. You click on that and you can see allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. That's bad. That means it turns off your ability to collect data from the dyno. So we basically want to uncheck that and click OK. And Then we want to check all the other ones that are listed under the universal serial bus. Here power management again uncheck click OK. Now, not all of them will have that power management. In cases like this, you don't have to do anything, but it's best to just check every one of them to make sure they don't sneak anything in. Again, you're just looking for that power management tab. Oh, there's another one. And make sure you turn that off. And last but not least, your universal serial converter. Now, this is a new thing. This started showing up here recently in Windows 10. So that's your motor controller that we talked about up here. It's turning it off. So we don't want this box to be checked, but we do want this one. Allow the device to bring the computer out of standby. Yes, yes we do. We want to make sure it can wake up the computer because when you're trying to use it, you want it to work. So you'll have this box checked and this box unchecked. You can only do one, so you'll be in good shape there. So you click OK and that means that your USB devices will stay on, stay powered. We're going to close these out. Now, there's another area that we can go, and I'll show you how to get there, where there's even more power savings that can cause you problems. So if you're just on your desktop, you just right click anywhere, and you go to display settings. Now this is a bunch of information on the computer. The one we're interested in is power and sleep. Now, in here we can change more settings for the computer that allow it to basically keep working for you even when you're not using it. Um, we recommend, and we can't tell you what to do, but we recommend always setting all of these to never. You scroll all the way down to the bottom, never. You really don't want it to turn off. When you're done with your computer, you'll turn it off. Again, if these are on 25 minutes, 15 minutes, and the computer goes to sleep, it's gonna be a problem for the, the dyno software, and uh, 
you may end up having to restart the computer just to wake it up. So we put these on never and you should be safe from that. Now the next place, believe it or not, Windows is uh, Windows got a lot of different areas and we fight this all the time, but additional power settings. And all I've done is scroll down, additional power settings. And you see this window come up and these windows show up the same way in Windows 10 and Windows 7. It's just how you get to them. So we want to do change plan settings. And again, you'll see those never, and that's great. Then we want to do change advanced power settings. You get this little box. So turn off hard disk. There's a whole bunch of choices we scroll down through. Turn off the hard disk after when it's on battery. If you scroll all the way down to one to zero to never, we don't want to turn off the hard disk until we put the computer to sleep uh, or just turn it off. So we want to do that. And we're going to scroll down here. This USB settings, again, USB. Those are where you collect your data cable and your motor cable are all USB. So when it's on battery power, it says enable. That still means it can suspend it. If you click on it, you kick your arrow, say disabled. Say stop turning it off. I want to use this. Make sure it's on disabled. It's crazy to think you have to do this, but it is, uh, it is there and the computer is trying to, uh, trying to help you, but it only hurts for the software. So make sure you do those things. You can also come in here and these should all be taken care of. Never off, hibernate, don't hibernate, and do a battery disabled. That way the computer's not turning off as you're trying to run the dyno or after you go to lunch and come back. It's always on, it's always ready to go. So once that's all done, your settings have changed, hit apply, click OK, and this screen is, is good. You just hit this X up here, do not hit cancel, the X, and we're back to here. And again, some of these are recommended, but most, we, you know, we recommend you always turn all the power savings off and close that screen. And that way, again, the USB ports will not be turned off to save power and your dyno will keep working even after you go away for a moment. There you go. There's some tips to get your laptop running and, and always working. Thank you.